So everyone, we're getting news on the four-year anniversary of Road to Survival. So it seems like it's another collection item event where we're collecting balloons, red, orange, and blue. These can be redeemed for anniversary tokens in the museum, as if we don't have enough things to redeem in the museum. And it seems like you can exchange them then in a stash for items and energy. Now I like the idea of a stash because you know exactly what you're going to be getting. It'll be interesting to see how many items are in the stash in order to get the new character, Sergio. I also am curious to know if Scopely actually accounted for Tournament of Champions going on because any regions that are in the Tournament of Champions get a milestone reward boost. And with these anniversary balloons being collected during milestone rewards for level up, raid, survival road, and war, it becomes a little unfair in my opinion to some of the regions that never got a chance to participate in Tournament of Champions in the case of them being too young or choosing the wrong region because of the lack of information we had when making our decision and then some very deserving factions that should be in the Tournament of Champions still were not able to participate because of the lack of activity in their region as a whole or working together in some cases. So if these anniversary balloons do get the Tournament of Champions milestone reward boost then I think only if you're in a region that makes it to the final stage of Tournament of Champions will you have a chance of completing possibly both stashes. Because I do like that there's an additional stash that is there, so if you complete the first one, you're still earning prizes instead of your collection items going to waste. Now I hope that Sergio is actually a character that will add something to our roster, unlike the recent free-to-play characters that we have been getting. If he's anything like Romanoff, I will be severely disappointed. Based on this timeline, I would assume that transfers would be open around the 8th of September. That way your stash won't get reset if you do decide to transfer. And it looks like Scopely is revamping part of Survivors Club by giving additional roadmaps as well as anniversary tokens to try and entice people back into spending. It'll be interesting to see what value is added by completing these roadmaps. Thanks again for watching my video.